In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the information you've already entered on a purchase order to create a purchase invoice. So first of all, I need to go to purchases. So I'm going to go there by going to accounts and purchases. And I just need to scroll down to my purchase orders and to find an approved purchase order that I created earlier. So this is the purchase order to my, my stationery supplier, office supplies company, and I have now received my stationery and a purchase invoice. So if I open this purchase order, and I can see what was on my purchase order, I can now go to options and copy to. So I have three options here. I can copy the information on my purchase order to a purchase invoice, which I will do in a moment. I can copy the information to a new purchase order. So if I'm creating a very similar purchase order, I can reduce the amount of typing that I need to do. Or I can copy the information onto a sales invoice. So if I had ordered something on behalf of a customer, I can now use the information I put on my purchase order to start creating a sales invoice to my customer. But I want to create a purchase invoice. Now I haven't actually received everything that was on my purchase order. So I'm going to untick mark this purchase order as fully billed and I'm going to create a draft invoice. So I need to now enter the information that's on the purchase invoice. So the date of the invoice and the due date of the invoice and the actual invoice number is what I'd normally put in the reference box, but you can put whatever you choose in here. And then I can upload a scanning copy of the purchase invoice or if it was sent to me by PDF I could have saved the PDF and now upload it onto this purchase invoice I could have or I might have added it to my library and I will now upload it from my library I've not actually received my notebook so I'm going to take that line off I have received everything else but if I hadn't I can amend these lines and then it matches my purchase invoice I've received from my supplier, so I'm going to approve it. And there we have our purchase invoice waiting to be paid. We could say a few days later, I've now received my notebook, so if I go back to purchases, and then I just need to find the purchase order again, the same purchase order. Scroll down again find my purchase order and here it is so again I'm going to use the options button again to copy to a purchase invoice and this time it will be fully billed so I'll leave that ticked put the date in so this time 15th of November due on the 15th of December the invoice number this time. Again, I can upload a copy of that invoice. And then these two lines were on the previous one. So it's just the notebooks this time and I can approve. 